Hello everyone, John Odom, drum teacher, drum set teacher, percussion teacher with Groove with Passion Drum Lessons. And here today, uh, I'm going to go ahead and film a basically an instructional video uh, for a song that one of my students is working on. Uh, he asked me to film a video for, for him to help him learn this song. Uh, and the song is, is um, Anchor by the Christian uh, heavy metal rock band Skillet. Um, it's a great song. Uh, cool thing about Anchor is that instead of being like a, a lot of the music that we play, that it is played on the kick, snare, and the hi-hat, or kick, snare, and ride, um, the chorus of this song is actually played between the floor tom and the snare. So this is really what, what could be considered a, a tom groove, more or less. So it's a little more challenging to play, it makes it more interesting. Uh, and as a, as a drummer, it's, it's a fun song to play. Now, a few interesting things about this song. Number one, it is not in 4-4 time, okay? If you look it up on Google, it says it's in 3-4, okay? And the way I'm teaching my student this song, I said, well, let's don't try to count 3-4. We can actually count this in 6-8. Uh, and I believe it makes it um, a little easier, I guess, to understand. Um, in um, actually modern worship music, the playing in 6-8 is, is somewhat common. Um, so 6-8, if you haven't learned 6-8, uh, that is something that you might want to look into because it's, it's, it has a different feel than 4-4. Four, four. It's two more beats per measure, basically. Uh, and your backbeat in 6-8 is on beat 4 as opposed to beats 2 and 4 in a you know, eighth note rock group. So this song starts off pretty uh, pretty mellow, pretty quiet. It does have some good dynamics. Drums are not in on the beginning of it. So let me go ahead and start the intro in verse 1 right now. Starts off with just piano. Very nice. Drifting beneath the horizon. Body. Count this is one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Other drummers, other musicians may want to do it a different way, um, but six eight works for me. Six eight is working for my student. Um, so six eight does fit. So it, that will work for this song. But that's how you're gonna, that's the feel of this song. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's keep going. I get to shore, but I'm falling short. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. You come in here with a little groove. Couple different ways you can play that. It's very, very soft. You can actually come in with a cross stick on the snare if you have an, an uh, acoustic kit or if you have an electronic kit that will allow you to do it. Cross stick sound. Um, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So bass drum on one. One, two, three. And then your cross stick or your back beat's gonna be on four. Four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. You could play on the hoop of your snare. Um, you could even play the, the, the snare on beat four. You could even play it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, just get a couple different options. If you're in a band, basically you you would want to talk to your bandmates about it and say, hey, you know, what sound do you think? You know, which do you think sounds the best? Um, main main point here is it's a very relaxed groove right now. It's very quiet, so you're not playing anything loud or bombastic. Okay, let's keep going with the verse one here. So now you're going from the verse to the chorus. There's a brief pause there, and here's where your groove changes. Okay, here's where we go to the to the groove between the floor tom and the snare. So 
the way you can play this, and again, like most songs, there are a few variations. You're not locked into only one way to play. Um, it comes up, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And, he, and their lead singer goes, you are my anchor. Well, ank, that syllable is on beat one, okay? So you are my anchor. Okay, your tom notes, your floor tom notes. Um, you don't want to go, you know, you're not trying to fill all that space in. You want to leave some space. I mean, you're not. I wouldn't recommend doing something like this. You are my. That, that would be too much because then there's there's no space, no room for the music to breathe. Okay. So I wouldn't try to fill in all those notes. It's just not really appropriate for this song. Okay, it's, it's too much. But if you kind of leave some space there, and I'll leave the bass drum out for a moment. Now one thing about moving your left hand back and forth between the floor tom and the snare it's a very calm movement. It's not a fast song. Six eight is typically not fast, not usually. Okay, you've got two more beats per measure, so it's not going to be as fast as four four. Um, but it is, you know, like every other song you play, whatever groove you play on the on the drum set, it is a constant, consistent motion. Okay, so you do need to make sure you're moving your left hand soon enough, staying calm, staying relaxed, to get that back beat on. Okay, staying relaxed with your sticks, letting the sticks rebound off the floor tongue. Okay, and just, and then you can, again, as, you know, to, to kind of reinforce the groove, playing your kick on beat one. Okay, and counting. If, if you count, just like any other groove, any other song, it will help you to know where beat one is for the kick, your back beat on the snare on beat four. And then what you're feeling in, there's notes in between here on the floor tom. So, now if you want, whenever you get more comfortable with the song, you can even. You can even add another bass drum note. It doesn't only have to be one on the, on only on beat one, and that's it. You can add a little bit more on the kick. So let's keep going here with. Uh, the first course. goes from the chorus, which is pretty loud, everybody's jamming there, right, to verse 2, and just like verse 1, you hear the volume come back down, you're going back to a standard groove. You can do something a little different for verse 2 if you want to stay on the snare for this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four. Now, since I have a lot of experience playing uh, six eight grooves. I like to throw in some ghost notes, a couple of drags. So I'll typically play. Uh, I would play verse two something like this. And, and not going crazy, not trying to play a bunch of notes, but just like with four four, where you're. Depending on the song, you can add some drags in there. You can even throw a hi-hat gliss in there every now and then. You know, if you like. 
as long as it fits the music, fits the song, as long as you're serving the music, that's always our guideline. So let's keep going with verse two. Verse two is different. It has, it has um, I would say, more energy than verse one, which is pretty common in music also. So let's keep going here. All of the fears I've been here a little bit they start to build that energy near the end of the verse okay a little bit tricky to play there right here couple different ways you can play that. I mean, you could just, um, you know, you know, you can kind of start to play that around the tom some. Um, you can play it on the snare. It's kind of up to you. And again, it, you know, however you feel that part. Um, but you definitely need to do something there because you hear the energy start to coming, you know, coming up higher um, to a higher degree here the volume start coming up the dynamics okay are changing so we definitely need to do something different there okay so let me go back here a little bit again and, and show you that part one more time From that verse, you're, you're building the energy towards the end of the verse. You can do a crash. You can even do a swell there. You are my... <laughs> you have to be in a big hurry to get over here. If you just want to do one crash shit on one, you are my... <laughs> That, that's fine, or if you want to, like, say, a full-on swell, you are... You know, if you do the swell, obviously, it's going to take a little bit longer to get, you know, to the floor tom. So you could leave the first part of the floor tom out, hit your snare on four if you want, and then go back into your floor tom beat. So, again, just different options. But you definitely need a crash there coming in because you're coming into a very energetic course again, right? So let's keep going with that part. starts to come out of the bridge near, near the second half of the bridge it starts to build that energy again and basically you're you're just playing along with the lyrics you're, what you're playing is matching up what they're saying and sometimes we do that in a song if it's if the song's well written uh, and in a situation like this it works really well it's really a cool idea um, and your audience likes that it's just a cool thing to, to, to work on so let me go back here
So that's a basic idea of how to play Anchor by Skillet. Uh, I don't own the rights to this song at all. I am strictly using this just for instructional purposes. Uh, again, it's a great song. Uh, I think it's pretty cool to learn different grooves around the drum set. Not every groove we play is bass, drum, snare, drum, and hi-hat, or bass, snare, and ride. If you notice, we don't even use the ride on this song. The ride doesn't even get used on this song. Um, and you know, sometimes we'll, we'll, we can run across songs like this. And it just it's fun as a drummer because then you get to try different things. So for more uh, videos like this, for more ideas to learn how to play different songs on the drum set, uh, currently, I am teaching at Orlando Fine Arts Academy. We are a music and arts school in Lake Nona and uh, Orlando. Also, if, if you so if you live on that side of town, live near the school, uh, the contact information for the school for we do music lessons, voice lessons, art and dance lessons. Uh, I also do go to students' homes and do private lessons as well. And so the contact information will be on the video. Uh, contact me or contact the school if you have questions or if you're interested in getting started uh, learning the arts. Thank you for watching. Have a great day. Take care.